So throughout this video, I'm going to make a couple of remarks regarding a perceived missing colorblind mode. What I did not see is that there is a settings menu on the home screen, and there is in fact a colorblind mode. Anyway, on to the video. This is a game that I got sent to me a little bit ago. It's called Wild True Learn, and I need something else to record while I'm waiting on a few other games to come out, so... Let's give this one a try. It looks like it's some random indie game about programming and server maintenance. No idea what it's going to be about. <laughs> Hello friend, glad to see you in our game. This is a tycoon game that will give you the opportunity to take the role of a machine learning specialist and develop from a rookie to a professional. Okay, so developer info and a link to this game will be down in the description. So, task zero, school problems. Uh, we are... Running a big social survey in schools. Well, I guess we'll accept the job. We'll get $300, and it'll take 35 seconds, maybe. I don't, I don't know what that is. Deep news, not neural artificial intelligence. Mankind has always been trying to create an AI before the invention of neural networks. People used expert systems, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I'm Eliza. Hello, Eliza. How are you today? Okay, talk to, 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 to worked horribly. And talk to the patient using similar questions. Of course, yeah, I, I remember hearing about that, but anyway. What the heck do we do now? <laughs> okay, so we have... Nope, arrows. More arrows. Test run. You must add at least one node to the scheme. Okay, so here's a node. This looks like a programming... Uh menu that you'd find in like Mindstorm. Okay, that's connected. Do I not want to do this yet then? Do I want to do this? In this task, all sockets must be connected. Okay, so I must want to do this. So I mean... That's a red tin, I think, and a blue tin. Let's find out what happens. So it's sending the red squares higher and the blue ones lower. Do we want that to happen? Okay, <laughs> I have no idea what just happened. So estimated cost $42 for that. Uh, took 21 seconds. Oh, so we must get 30 seconds to complete the run. All right, so there's our reward, I guess, for $300. Release. Um, I, I, okay, so it looks like I might be able to like make that dollars a second all right let's do it we will be able to make it quicker i'm assuming it's not a big deal on this first one so it times us on the amount of time that we get to do it because it costs money on the servers and we need to uh finish filling these two things up in less than 35 seconds we get 300 dollars if we succeed so i'm gonna lose some money but i think only 42 bucks okay so there we go Yep, so I get 258 out of that. Errors in database. We have some errors in our questionnaires of data. We can't solve the problem. Can I fix it? So I, I, I still don't know what that means. 33 seconds to get this, 350 bucks. Okay, so trash can. Looks like I'll be wanting to send some data into a trash can. Um, let's pull this. Can I? Yeah, okay, there we go. So, I can't move these. I don't know if it goes quicker if I have more of these. Probably not. Okay, if I click that one, what's this do? Uh, expert system. The node compares colors. Ah, okay. If the color of the element is equal to the chosen color, the element comes into the top socket. Others go into the bottom socket. Okay. So we only want... green there. Trying to figure out here. Let's see. Connect that. I don't think we want... Is that red? I am colorblind as heck, so this is kind of hard. <laughs> I think that's red. Um, 
They, they need to have like symbols or something here for uh, the genetically deficient like me. So anyway, I think that's red first that we want. And then we're gonna want green to go in there. Oh wait, that's, okay, blue will be first. So I think blue will go into the trash can. Then we want green or red, but I don't know how we can make, well, let's test it. So blue should go down here. Yep. Green. Is that red? Okay, so green's going there. I don't think that's quick enough. We want the reds and the greens to go into here and all the blues into the trash can. Because that's gonna take too long. That's that's not gonna finish, is it? So let's try red at the top. what this means like this is this the target what is that the meter I wonder if we add a second one uh, we could send here we could probably do this right we could send reds here can I connect this to that one I can okay so we could send green here and then blue goes into this so blue should go into the bottom on both of these and that should fill this up and looks like that'll get the job done so I'm assuming that'll fill it up quick enough wish you could speed this up a little bit but it looks like that's all we need Actually, be kind of close. <laughs> no, it'll make it barely, but it'll make it. Okay. Probably a better way of doing this, but hey, I'm new to this. I'll let it run for a couple of seconds again. So this doesn't seem to be like a actual game or like some kind of learning game. Like, and that sounds a little bit more in line with the email they sent me. The email I was describing is like. Imagine if you played Skyrim, and you play it for 80 hours, and in that 80 hours, what if you actually learned a useful skill instead of playing Skyrim? And I was like, oh, I have a lot more than 80 hours on Skyrim, and I sure didn't come away with a useful skill from that game. And it is kind of an interesting concept, using video games to teach people, which is not a new concept. I had a game when I was in grade school that taught me how to type, and I did not actually learn from that game, I learned how to type by playing RuneScape. So that was uh, a little bit of a difference there, because that game was horrible. The game wasn't fun, it was stressful, and we had tests on it, you know, it's like they, they made it a game to try to make it interesting to learn how to type in a grade school computer lab, but... Uh, I, do they even do that anymore, or do they just... I, I don't know how people learn to type anymore, I don't know if they learn from that, or if they just use the internet. Okay, so we found some new types of errors made by our users. Please upgrade or update your program. It'll be easier if you use the previous version of the code. So is this the same deal? No. We want red, right? Custom nodes, okay. Here you can see the schemes made of basic nodes, recursively of course, which are allowed to be used in this task. Custom nodes don't waste time on transferring data from one node to another. Uh, anytime you can get back to previous tasks and rewrite the programs, you may optimize it for using the current program. Okay. It'd be kind of cool if I could like, <laughs> you know, like in, a, in an RTS, if I could highlight over these and then delete them all instead of at least I can click on them and delete them, but... Okay, so... Or else divide and without blue. Uh, without blue, so that'd be only reds. That'd be a blue, though, so we want division, I guess. And... Assuming we want this to go there. I don't know how this is gonna... Side where the blues go, but we'll throw it in there. Uh, 
Um, oops, I didn't click that one. Why did that one get deleted? I'm trying to think here. What if I did this? No, I don't think this will work either. So this just cuts out blues. That's all that looks like that's doing, so could I just do this then? Yeah, so those blues are gone. Okay, so that should be successful. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> maybe? Yeah, this should work. Nope, because the green's bringing that one down. That's why we want reds. <laughs> Um, okay, I guess I gotta come over here to the custom nodes. Uh, or not the custom, we want the base ones. So we want you to come in here, and it looks like we want red on the top. And I don't, do we really want to throw away all the greens? It's like a lot of greens growing, going into the trash can there, but here's a bunch of reds. So that'll be successful, but barely. It'll take 32 out of 35 of the seconds. <laughs> All right, let's run it. So I have almost a thousand dollars, which is slowly going down. And I think this will probably be the last one I do for this. So I don't think I'm gonna get too much into this game. Maybe I'll play it more on my kind of boredom free time but this definitely seems like a type of puzzle game and I know that that's what programming is I mean I've done a little bit of C++ in my day so I know a teeny bit about programming but not you know not expert level or anything but as far as this goes I don't know I almost feel like doing real programming would be more useful but I'm not that far into the game so Maybe it gets more into that. Right now it just feels like a simulator though. I mean, it looks like eventually I'll be able to start up my own company and I don't know if that's private emails, but uh, here we're just doing jobs for other people. And the graphics are okay. I do kind of like the, the look of this game. I just wish they were a little bit higher resolution because the text, even at 1080p, the text is a little bit blurry. And also the color blindness issue for me is a problem. I don't know if that's an option anywhere. Uh, it doesn't look like I can change the settings. So random forest for $1,000. Uh, nope, it's not there. It's just the mail. So maybe, maybe there's... No, I don't think I saw anything. So I don't know. I'm not even sure if this game is released yet. This might be early access. <laughs> but uh, as far as it goes, this was actually kind of interesting. So I know this was a random video. The link to this game... If it's actually available on Steam, which I'm pretty sure it is, will be down in the description if you want to give it a try. It's pretty cheap, it's like six bucks. And I was given this game for free uh, by the developer, but I was not paid anything else to play this game, just was given a six dollar game for free. Anyway, that was an interesting video. We only did three tasks, and it seems like this will probably go on for much longer, but I think this will be about the extent of my videos for this game. It was interesting <laughs> definitely was interesting i like the concept of teaching uh coding through a video game but in this way i don't know if it's the best to say but that may not be the complete goal i mean the the truth is the the concepts are getting across like how to how to check if it's blue and where it needs to go which is very important if you're trying to do that with real data but anyway i am no real programming expert so that's going to be it for this video and i will see you in whatever the next one is that i decide to record i think it might be the halo 2 cutscenes. i don't know yet but i'll find something and i'll get around to it in a day or two